guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. It's a Jurassic Park 3 variation of the Velociraptor egg. This was very kindly sent over by Gavin at myjurassicpark.com. Um, I'll put a link to his site down below. Um, he sells loads of Jurassic Park collectibles and prop replicas, so it's really worth checking out his site. But uh, today we're going to be looking at this. Now, I thought it'd be an interesting uh, departure to look at all the different variations of Jurassic Park eggs and the ones that we've featured on the channel as well. So let's get going. Notice how all the eggs in the Jurassic Park movies are Velociraptor eggs. Just an interesting point to note. Their first appearance is the hatchery scene in the first Jurassic Park. These are big and round, as in the film it is explained that these are artificially impregnated ostrich eggs. Here on the channel, we love that memorable scene so much that we've reviewed the 1993 Jurassic Park egg candy, we've reviewed the 1997 Icons screencast replica egg, which is limited in number, we've also reviewed the one-to-one -one replica of the raptor hatchling breaking out of the egg, which is an exclusive to the channel, and is actually cast off the screen used sculpt. And then last year, we obtained an actual production used egg from the production of Jurassic Park, which would have been made at Stan Winston Studios. And also last year, with the release of Jurassic Park in 3D, we reviewed these McDonald's tie-in toys complete with raptor hatchling. All of these videos can be accessed by clicking the links on the screen. So later in the film, Alan Grant finds out that the dinosaurs are breeding, and he does so by discovering these elongated Velociraptor eggs. We get to see what the eggs look like in the wild, and they are completely different to their ostrich counterparts. Although we are never explicitly told these are Velociraptor eggs, fans have long assumed that these are Velociraptor eggs due to the size of the dinosaur footprints and the reference to them earlier in the movie. Harder to find are replicas of these eggs, but luckily Gavin at MyJurassicPark.com has created these resin castings of the eggs, which you can buy unpainted or painted. I'll put the link down below. With the dinosaurs breeding wild on Site B, the Lost World candy eggs also resemble this design of the Velociraptor egg. Which brings us nicely onto Jurassic Park 3, where we once again see the Velociraptor elongated eggs, except this time the design has changed again. So here is the Jurassic Park 3 egg prop replica, and as you can see for the design of the third film, they actually made the eggs more pointy. Um, if you look at the shells of the raptor eggs that Alan Grant picks up in the first Jurassic Park film, you'll notice that the eggs are more cylindrical and they don't have such a point that they come to, so they actually change the designs of the eggs again for the third film. Um, so you've got another variation of Jurassic Park egg. But I really like the design of these. Um, they feel very naturalistic. And um, I really like the job that uh, Gavin's done on the finish here. It's a very faithful job because the eggs in the film do look quite glossy when uh, Billy Brennan is handling them and also uh, Alan Grant. Um, so I like the finish on this one. Let's get a quick closer look so you can inspect this one. So I love all the little dents and all the little lumps and bumps on the surface. Really nice sort of attention to detail. I also like the sort of earthy paint job that's been done here to make it look like it's got like a weathering to it, uh, which again is very faithful to what we see uh, in Jurassic Park 3. Uh, as these eggs have resided in the nest for a little while, they've got a little bit scuffed and dirty. So uh, that's really cool to see that as well. I love this gloss as well. It's a really nice sort of wet and reptilian feeling. Because if you watch a lot of sort of natural history shows, you'll notice that when... Um, turtles or other reptiles give birth to eggs. The, the eggs are really sort of glossy and wet. So I think they've tried to emulate. emulate that look here. It looks really good. Cool. So there we go. That is a Jurassic Park 3 egg replica. I hope you enjoyed a walk through all the different variations of Jurassic Park eggs. And um, go and check out the videos if you uh, fancy having a look at all the different eggs on the channel. Uh, make sure you rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.